Version 2 of the Mad Pony Pi Menu plugin introduces a new way to create Pi Menus in ZBrush. In order to simplify the usage of the plugin, I decided to create two different plugins, one for the Pi Menus and one for the Slider Control. The Slider Control plugin will be released at a later date, and if you are already an owner of Mad Pony Pi Menu, you will get both plugins for free. You can still use the older version in conjunction with this one, as this will create a brand new plugin in your Z plugins palette. You now have 16 different pies that you can control. They all show up under the pie menu sub palette. You can edit each pie by pressing the edit button in front of them. This will bring up the edit pop-up where you can edit your pie positions and rename your pie. You also have the distance control in this pop-up, which will allow you to control the distance from your mouse position to your pie positions. When you rename a pie and you press done, the button for that pie also gets renamed. You can assign a hotkey to this button, pressing Ctrl, Alt and clicking and then pressing your Alt key. And now every time you press that key, the pie will pop up. Let's assign the ZBrush button to one of the pie positions. I'm going to open up my brush palette and dock it to the side here. Every time you're about to assign a position, you want to make sure that the button that you want to click on, it's visible on your ZBrush interface. So I want to add some brushes to my first pie, which I called sculpting brushes. So I'll make sure they're available here so that, that I can click on them when I'm about to assign a pie position. Once the buttons that I want to assign are visible, I can go back to edit and press one of these set position buttons. This will bring me this new pop-up. This is the position options menu. At the top I have the name of the button which no button is assigned, so I have set position right there. I can turn this into a cancel position by pressing this button. And if I go back, now that's a cancel position, which means if I trigger this pie and I go cancel, nothing happens, it just shows me cancel. I can change the feedback settings down here, turn feedback off, and now when I select cancel, it just cancels it, but it doesn't show me any feedback. Before I move any further, I want to press feedback and I want to start triggering my pie menu close to the edge and it, as you can see the mo a message will pop up saying too close to the edge this means that the pie menu cannot display correctly if your cursor is too close to the edge let's turn feedback off to make it faster and let's assign a position to our first position here so to assign a position i press assign new and a, a message will pop up saying press any button on the zbrush interface and uh, let's say i'm gonna click my clay brush now, especially for brushes, usually the name that is extracted is very long. So when a, a name of a button is very long, this message will pop up and you just have to press OK to rename or cancel. So I just want to call this clay. So I'll just delete that. Press Enter. Clay position set successfully. And if I go back to my edit, now I have my clay position right there. Now, once I assign a position, I have two other options which is rename and delete. Now to illustrate this, I'm going to go back and I'm going to set the same button on another position. And I could be doing this in a, any other pie. It will react the same way. So if I press aside new and I click clay again, now it didn't ask me to rename it because the button is already in the interface. And when I have a button already saved in the interface, if I rename it, and I say clay brush for example and I go back it will rename that button in every position in this pie or in any other pie and the same goes the same thing goes for delete if I press delete here this will delete all assignments to this button in every pie meaning if I now go back the button will be gone and set position will show up in its place you can get rid of some of the positions in the pie for example if I want to get rid of this position I can Press disable. If I go back, it will be darken, and I'll do the same on this one. I'll disable it. Go back. So these two positions are now darkened. So if I call my pie, they're gone. I can also call other pies by assigning a pie button to to a position. Now if I select that pie, it will open up that second pie. I can use this functionality to go back and forward in menus. For example, if I go to my second pie, which I re renamed Z Modeler to add my Z Modeler brushes here, and I set this position, 
to be the previous spy, which is the sculpting brushes spy. Now when I choose the sculpting brushes, I can go to Z Modeler and then back to Z Brushes. And there's a limit for how many times you can go from one menu to the other. That limit is 16 times, so you can do this 16 times. If you reach that limit, maximum Pi calls reached message will pop up. When you assign a switch, for example, activate symmetry, let's try this switch here, it will toggle the switch on if off and off if on. As you can see, this new version opens up a world of possibilities and simplifies the plugin tenfold. Like I said, I'm working on a separate plugin called Slider Control, which the objective of that plugin is, is for you to be able to control any ZBrush slider with canvas cursor movement that will be fully integrated with the Pi menus. So you can trigger any of those sliders and control them with just your mouse movement. Enough said on that. The plugin is now available on Gumroad and ArtStation. And if you previously purchased it, it's free. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Support me on Patreon and I'll see you in the next video.